because in this same Abuja, I saw pure water. I carry pure water in my head, I saw pure water. Everybody, the young boss in this place, I visited the market today. Just want to prove to some people that, <laughs> that we can still do some things, you know. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. If you are new, welcome. Please subscribe and join the family and also click the link in the description box to subscribe to my personal channel where I talk about business and lifestyle in general. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you everything you need to know about Moses Bliss. His biography, his age, his career, his life before fame, how he became famous, his life after fame, where he grew up, his ex-girlfriend, and prophecies that came about his marriage. So if you're a big fan of Moses Bliss, stick to the channel because you will enjoy every bit of this video. And please remember to subscribe if you have not. Let's cut the chase and get right into the video. Moses Bliss is a Nigerian gospel singer, a worship leader, and a songwriter. He is the founder of Spotlight Nation, a Nigerian record label. His full name is Moses Uyo Enang, and he's popularly known as Moses Bliss. Nestled in the heart of Nigeria, Moses Bliss hails from Asian Udim, local government in Akwaibom state in the southern region of Nigeria. He is often misunderstood to be a native of Abuja due to his current residence in the city. However, the assumption is incorrect. He hails from Akwaibom state, a melting point of culture, traditions and reading. Moses Bliss is the last born in a family of three. He has two elder sisters. He lost his dad quite early and his mom single-handedly took care of him and his siblings. Moses Bliss grew up in Abuja, Nigeria. He once shared how he sold pewata on the streets of Abuja and also helping his mom in the market to sell vegetables just to make a living. Because in this same Abuja, I sold pewata. Bring pure water in my head, I saw pure water. I was standing in the market and slice for her. You people saw on Instagram how I was slicing. The thing is, it wasn't a special gift, it was a business at some point. Yes, I would say for my, for my mom. Even up to 2016, I was still standing in the, in the market in Papi and selling for my mom so that I would have transport and go to church. Moses Bliss completed his primary and secondary education in reputable institution in Nigeria. Upon obtaining his first school living certificate and senior secondary school certificate, he proceeded to National Open University of Nigeria for his tertiary education. A quick story on how Moses Bliss became famous. Two young boys walked into the pastor's office on this fateful day. They were young ambitious and they needed money they were talented instrumentalists who needed cash for service in church they were no doubt church boys but on this very day they made up their mind to approach their pastor because they want to be paid of course the pastor didn't mean words in telling them that the church does not pay musicians to work for god your talent was given to you by god and he expects you to use it to bless his body he told them in no uncertain terms that their reward was God determined and would be God supplied. That didn't go down well with the boys. I can imagine their disappointment. The pastor asked them to leave the church if the council didn't go down well with them. As expected, one left and the other stayed back. He didn't just stay back. Instead, he threw himself on God's work using his talents to bless the body of Christ. And guess who that person was? Moses Bliss. He was so determined and was constantly serving in church. Soon he was known. He began to carve a niche for himself. In no time at all, offers started rolling in. Oh, they were mouth watering. Moses Bliss got a record deal to veer of a gospel music and gospel work. The package was jaw dropping for a young boy who used to help his mother sell wares in a local market. A car, a two bedroom apartment, 2 million naira and it was a long list.
So when I say, God, you are too faithful to fail me, if the song was not because I didn't know the song would be, people would like the song. It was my life, my experience. When I thought about my journey, the Lord told me, he said, I'm too faithful, I'm too committed. And before the song came, I never heard those words before, those construction. I never heard you are too loving to leave me halfway. They came by the Holy Ghost. And, and my life changed. When I made contact with the message of my father, Pastor Chris in Yakinome. And I'm saying this with all humility. I listened to a message where Pastor said, Whosoever shall say to this mountain, whosoever, it means that it did not matter who was talking. But whosoever shall say, let's forget about the mountain, but the end is that he shall have whatever he says. That scripture changed my life. It meant that if I started talking, one day I will have what I say. And I started talking. I will wake up and I will go to the bush, go to the mountain in Papi then and I will be talking. One day my face will be on billboards. One day the world will sing my songs. One day I will pack out venues. One day when I kept talking because I, I took the words of my man of God seriously. And today I want to thank and thank you, sir. The most reverend. Thank you so much, sir. Paul. Can we see the great reverend? Moses Bliss released his first single in January 2017 titled "In No They Fall My Hand and he rose to prominence with the 2019 song Too Faithful. Moses Bliss attended Christ's embassy. He served faithfully in that church and when the Love World International Music Arts Award Lima 2020 by his pastor, Pastor Chris Oyakolema came up, he participated and he won with his song, You I Live For. Moses Bliss got a cash prize of $100,000 by Pastor Chris Oyakilome. That very day, the world literally stood still. <laughs> A household name just because he refused to leave just because he was humble enough to put down his head under a mentor who appeared insensitive at the beginning Moses Bliss is the founder of Spotlight Nation a record label in Nigeria and it consists of artists like Ebuka Songs, Naja, Doris Joseph, Sun Music, Fetize, Cheesy and Eja Zika these people contribute their unique talents to the industry. Moses Bliss is a philanthropist. He has gifted many people cars, especially members of his record label like Ebuka, Doris, his Baba, his manager, his mother, a lot. He's just known for giving people gifts. He also have a good relationship with some of the members in the industry, the likes of Messi Chimo, Pastor Nathaniel Bassi, GUC, and a lot of pastors, including TDJ, Pastor Joshua Selman, Pastor Jerry Eze, a host of them. About a while ago, this picture surfaced online and it was rumored that Moses Bliss was in a relationship with this lady. The internet people were not having it. But recently, it was discovered that the lady in question was Moses Bliss' cousin. And 
anytime Moses Bliss make a post on the internet with any lady, people will always come at him asking if he was getting married. In recent occasion, Minister Choma Jesus was telling Moses Bliss about his marriage and he prophesied that he must get married anytime soon. And while everybody was busy trolling Moses Bliss for being single, the young man was just 29 years old. Christmas last year when he made a post to celebrate Christmas, the internet warriors wouldn't let him rest. They kept asking him, when are you getting married? Recently, in February 2024, Moses Bliss announced his engagement to his Ghanaian girlfriend that he met on Instagram, Marie Weisborn. He said she tagged him in a video of her dancing to his popular song, Miracle No Detire Jesus, and added that they became friends and that their union was orchestrated by God. They did their court wedding in Abuja, Nigeria, and did their traditional marriage and white wedding in Ghana. And currently, they are on their honeymoon. Moses Bliss' story is a case of miracle no detire Jesus for real, from selling in the markets and hawking on the streets to being a famous big gospel artist. And he's married to the love of his life. You guys, it pays to serve God. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you all in my next one. Bye, guys. There are some statements you, you cannot make anymore. I don't want to. I cannot marry a pastor. We don't want to marry you. It's not, it's not personal. <laughs> we too, we don't want.